we have so much information regarding async rhythm rewards that is coming in 2023 if you want to see the other video recording what's coming that video will be in the end screen but let's go let's dive into the mirage we already know the prices for standard edition we can expect like 50 dollar 50 euro price tag on that one on deluxe around 60 and the collector's edition it will be 150 by pre-ordering the Assassin's Creed Mirage, we can expect the exclusive Assassin's Creed Mirage The Four Thieves quest that is gonna be pretty much the similar to the quest that we had in Valhalla. Quickly going over what's included, so for the standard edition it is gonna be just the game, for the deluxe we are gonna see some digital content and also we are getting Prince of Persia inspired set, Mount and Raven for collector's edition well there is a list so post the video if you need with the collector's edition we are getting the deluxe version as well figurine of basim unique steelbook with design elected by Assassin's Creed fans also we are getting the replica of basim Spruce, and of course we are getting the back that's map with the deluxe and collector's edition we are getting some soundtracks and bonus content with a digital art book and more and those are gonna be released on the release date and now let's dive into the mirage the first thing it is pure speculation based on the deluxe editions and the prince of persia themed armor set mount and raven so that makes me think is there gonna be microtransaction system in mirage you look upon Reda. <laughs> I mean, I really hope this is not the case, so what you think, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think Reda or something similar will be coming in Mirage or no? I mean, I hope I'm wrong. Before diving deeper, remember to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out anything. So, what we know so far, Mirage will be taking place 20 years before Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The canon will be Basim, who is 17 years old. At the start of the game, common street thief, so we are gonna see journey from young thief to master assassin in 8th century Baghdad. We also can expect how Loki slowly was taking over Basim's mind through the nightmares and cutscenes every time we are assassinating an old member. So if you haven't played Valhalla, Basim is Loki. The game will be playable on PlayStation 4 and 5. Also, new and old generation Xbox from old gen to new gen, there will be a free upgrade with the digital versions and of course this is playable on PC as well. Assassin's Creed Mirage will be a mix of new and old, pretty much tribute to the series roots. We are gonna see much more assassinations, parkour, still gameplay. That means less Rust and Bass style gameplay like in Origins, Odysseus and Valhalla. Also, there will be almost none of the modern day stuff, except at the start. After the tutorial part of the game, aka the thief part, future mentor of Basim, called Roshan, former person slave, and now one of the main characters of the game, and pretty much the leader of the hidden ones. In her 50s, voiced by Zohre Agraslu, Emmy awarded actress, we can hear her voice throughout the trailer, but let's watch her interview with Ubisoft about the project Mirage. Hi I am Shohei Agdashlu and I'm thrilled to announce that I will be voicing Roshan, Basim's mentor in Assassin's Creed Mirage. When Ubisoft approached me to voice this character, I was immediately seduced by Roshan's strong personality and her backstory. She's a true warrior who fights for justice and protects her fellow hidden ones at all costs. She is loyal and honest, but keep her former self behind a shroud of mystery. And of course, the fact that she is a mature woman from Persian origins made her resonate even more with my own story and background. Playing such a character is a unique opportunity that I could not miss. I hope you will love her as much as I do. It's a real pleasure for me to collaborate with the Assassin's Creed brand and play one of the main characters in such an anticipated new game. I am wishing you all a happy AC 15th anniversary. Thank you all. Yours sincerely, Shohei Agdashlu. I'm pretty sure the headquarters of the Hidden Ones, aka the Alamut Castle, will be the place where we can actually do regular things like change outfits and perhaps see Reda if that is the case in the game 
also expect so many easter eggs and hidden things throughout this castle that is still under construction. Also the cutscene from the trailer is taking place in here where Basim is cutting his finger off to become a hidden one. You will return to the dark. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. What's more, we can ride the mounts and we have the eagle with Basim as well. Probably leftovers from Valhalla, but the Basim's bird has a name, Enkidu. He can take the skies, survey areas and attack the enemies. Similar style drone bird as we had in Odyssey and in Origins. The playable area, it is gonna be the Baghdad and the Almut castle has been divided into four different districts. It can feel like a small area, but trust me, that is gonna be a big area. And remember, Mirage was supposed to be a DLC for Valhalla, now as a standalone game. And because it is standalone game, I am expecting much extended content, much bigger storyline than for the DLCs. And speaking about the DLCs, there has been no news about the Season Pass or AC1 remake that could be included into the looks pack or sold as separate. So let me know in the comments down below, are you demanding it for free or are you willing to pay for the season pass and if so, how much? Let's dive into the skills and abilities that we can use. According to Draw Raptor, at this point Ubisoft is unwilling to give much information about the stealth gameplay, but the move in the trailer that Basim is using, it is called Assassin's Focus that slows time down and grants us multiple assassinations or chain assassinations but not like we experienced in Valhalla. Also we are having the smoke bombs and I really like the red smoke bombs. Also we are able to use traps in this game and by the trailer I think that is probably a sleeping gas so we can put the enemies to sleep. Also gear, gadgets and skills should be upgradable but there is no leveling system in AC Mirage. Also double assassinations, black book missions they're making comeback. As far as we know, we don't have dual hidden blades, but instead we might be using two swords, two daggers, or combination with the hidden blade. Oh yeah, and the assassinations should not have those circles that we are seeing in Valhalla with the higher level enemies, so they should be always guaranteed. Perhaps the order members need to be confirmed, I am not sure, but the assassinations will take down any enemies with one blow. Also, Ubisoft did add so much more hiding spots on the rooftops and we are gonna use the environment much much more like using a poles or sticks for jumping between the rooftops that have a little bit more distance between them also swinging corners will be back as well personally i'm keen to see where this journey will take us and i absolutely would love your opinions you like on this video one of the last things I'm gonna say, something called Thief Sense, so pretty much the Eagle Vision, nothing like Odin's Pulse. So when we are entering the Thief Sense, everything will stay blue, red and gold, and perhaps white, depending on the targets, also depending on your surroundings. But before wrapping up this video, we should expect Mirage to be released in Spring 2023, but take this with grain of salt, it might get delayed into the summer, into the fall, who knows, only time will tell. At this point I really want to thank my channel members and top donators of the channel, you guys are really helping to get this channel to the next level. For now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Wolfpack, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and out and bye bye.